I cannot make music, I can play the stereo, but I can't play the guitar. My connection to the arts is uh, some kind of manufacturing, whether it's making film or printing books. I'm the vinyl manufacturer making records. I started 2001. I visited a pressing plant in Long Island City that had just moved from downtown Manhattan. Their setup was very nice, and when I saw their place, I thought, oh, record pressing's very nice. I bought the first two machines, which were in terrible state. I was simultaneously rebuilding uh, machines by taking them apart, um, the automation, and cleaning them up and putting them back together. There were all kinds of things wrong with them. There's been a lot more of them than I expected. I've melted this hose. Drop that one coming off the truck. I had one guy contaminate everything terribly. I come from a factory environment. So I'd run home from school and I would play uh, Marley Marl or um, Red Alert. And then my father would get home, so I'd have to turn the music off and I'd help him bore out an engine. I know who pressed this record. Anybody who wants to bet money is welcome to. Small center, universal, flat label area, universal, teardrop, nice thin record, uh, flat of course, universal. This is gonna be pressed on a Lennon. You get that? Yeah, I see it's got the, yeah. Starting, the goal was to press records. You wanted to become the vessel for the artist to generate their idea and then materialize it. There's a sense of completion because each project is hundreds of little things that want to go wrong. It was like an eight hour day to press 300 records and it was like difficult. And so now 300 records is under an hour, you know, and it's easy. I used to dread it. I used to have like terrible anxiety, like, oh my God, this is the end of the business. I can't do this. Once you get through it, you have a sense that you could do anything. If I was to be transported five years into the future, you know, from five years ago to now, I'd be like so happy. exhausting yourself every night, working hard, you can't feel bad about what you do. Because when you make something, you're making 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000. After it's made and it goes out into the world and the world enjoys it and then it's requested again, that is the most rewarding. You're multiplying that by how many people are hearing it and enjoying it. And you're not the artist, but it's completely connected with the art which is something in life where you don't, you don't need to make crap. There's enough crap in the world. So you want to make something positive and constructive and beautiful. 